Hello! I am so happy to be making another video after a pretty long time being away. Um, in case you were wondering where I was, I kind of had to stop making videos because my hair fell out. Yes, my hair fell out. Not all of it, but I lost about 30 to 40% of my hair, which was really, really difficult. So, um, now that I have at least some normal growth back, I'm going to be start doing videos because I'm redoing my entire curl journey all over again. I had to do another big chop. I had to start using new products. I also had to simplify my routine for reasons that I'll get into in a little bit, and I'm going to share it all with you. So I'm going to start from the beginning. My hair started to fall out towards the end of the summer of 2019. And the reason that that happened is because I had a bunch of health stuff happen. I also was diagnosed with a connective tissue disease like lupus. And I just kind of had the perfect storm of things happening. Also anesthesia. Anesthesia can cause hair loss. And on top of that, I had genetic issues that predisposed me to hair loss. The two types of hair loss that I had were telogen effluvian and androgenic, I think, uh, alopecia. I think that's how you say it. And telogen effluvian is more um, reactionary. If you're going through a really stressful time, um, postpartum hair loss, or because of um, reactions to anesthesia can happen. Alopecia is a little bit more difficult because it is genetic. It is a fancier name for female pattern baldness or male pattern baldness. It's kind of a lot, so I'm gonna do my best to keep my thoughts together so that this makes sense for you. And as you can imagine, it was incredibly difficult because I've been known for my hair my entire life. My curls were my everything. It's my security blanket. And I had already done the big chop to get my hair in good condition. It got to a length that I absolutely loved. You could see from my prior videos. And then I had to cut it again. So what was happening is my hair started coming out in clumps. And it was mostly around right here and my temples. My entire It was my entire hairline. And I didn't know until a year later when I went to the hairdresser finally to get the big chop done again that I had a ton of hair loss in the crown of my head. And the only reason that I even knew about it is because of when I had regrowth again, I had all these clumps of hair everywhere that were this long, this long. I can actually maybe show you. Look at this. That was gone. There's so much that was gone. All this, I had a big spot right here. I can attach pictures and show you what it looked like, but I don't have pictures of when it was really bad because it was just too upsetting for me to take pictures of. So I ended up cutting off a ton of hair. I did an angry chop to myself at home and ended up cutting my hair from about here to here straight. And uh, I tried everything. I tried extensions. I even bought wigs and I found really good wigs for under $20. You're going to think I'm so full of it. There are such good wigs from Amazon. And I have spent a lot of money on the really expensive wigs before. And they are garbage. I had to throw them out because you're never allowed to return them. But I found these wigs that are so amazing. I'm going to share them with you in a different video. So I... Uh, went to the dermatologist and the dermatologist said there was no point in giving me a biopsy because I couldn't be on the medication to treat one of those specific things that they were looking for, which was telogen effluvian or the alopecia. Um, there was only one thing that I could do, which was Rogaine. And I tried Rogaine and I am the biggest fan of Rogaine ever. This is not sponsored or anything, but, but it saved my hair it the one thing I'm going to tell you about Rogaine anytime I tell someone that I'm using Rogaine they say oh my god no way it made all of my hair shed fall all of my hair fall out it made my hair shed so much worse there is about well some people say two to three weeks it took me about six weeks where my hair had to get used to it. And you know there's the three different growth cycles. So your hair kind of goes through this weird period for the first few weeks that you use it where your hair loss kind of hits its peak. So you end up losing 
way more before it starts to regrow again. But at that point, I was so desperate. I didn't care. My doctor had warned me. Thank God, because if he didn't and that had happened, I would have thought he was crazy and I would have stopped using it. You just have to get through, if you're having hair loss, that short period of your hair loss hitting its peak because then you reap the benefits so much afterwards. And it's important to also start using something like Rogaine if you have alopecia, my type of alopecia, the female pattern baldness, um, early because there's something called miniaturization that happens to your hair. If you have ever lost your hair and you notice the individual strands get finer and finer and finer and then they just look, look like baby hairs, that means you have miniaturization. So your hair's pretty much shrinking until it stops coming back. The only thing that will fix that is medication like minoxidil, like Rogaine, and then it will start to make the hair thicker and thicker and thicker until it's back to its normal. But that's the only thing that will stop miniaturization from happening. And once the hair shrinks to the point where it doesn't come back, it will never come back even if you start using Rogaine. You just have to make sure you catch it before it fully disappears. So I started using Rogaine months ago and I have had dramatic results. You could see all the, the little flyaways that I have here because my hair is about a million different lengths right now. It's also why the ends just don't look as crispy as they used to because I have hair coming back at all different stages at all different times, but it is coming back. So this is gonna be quite a new hair journey for me, but I'm prepared and I hope that you're gonna follow along with me. I'm gonna talk about a new type of shampoo that I am using, that I am I am such a fan of the company and such a fan of their, their ethics and the whole background of the company and I'm gonna talk about that. I'm also gonna talk about um, how I simplified my routine. The reason that I simplified my routine is just because I'm a mom of two kids now. I cannot spend a ton of time on my hair routine. And because I do have a disease, I can't spend a ton of time with my arms in the air. It, it's just too uncomfortable. They go numb, it's painful. I don't have time for it. So I found a really simple routine that I do and I'm gonna share it with you. And I hope that you guys will follow along with me and trust me enough to listen to what I'm telling you, especially if you have hair loss. I am not an expert but I know what it's like to have unhealthy hair, you commit to a good routine, you then get the hair that you want, and then before you know it, things are out of your control, and you're kind of starting from scratch again. That's where I was, and I've dealt with hair loss before, not on this level though. Um, not to the point where I, I needed a wig. And I had, you know, areas that were just bald. So I just wanted to tell you guys where I've been. And I wanted to tell you that I'm back, baby. And we'll be sharing product reviews. I will be sharing hair tips. I will show you how to um, tie your scarf at night so that it won't fall off while you're sleeping and you wake up and it's next to you. I will show you what tools I recommend. I'm also going to show you how I apply Rogaine and I'm going to show you everything that I've been through to get my hair to come back to, to this, <laughs> this area that it is right now. So thank you for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. I know that it's been a while, but I am back, baby. I'm back. Thank you. And if you'd like to follow along with my journey, I would absolutely love that. Like and subscribe. And I will see you next week.